Are Blacklight Funko Pops taking over? Is Boba Fett getting his own Disney Plus TV show? And is right now the best time of the year to knock off some of those grails from your wish list? Find out tonight on Funko Worldwide. Welcome back to Funko Worldwide, your best source for everything going on in the collecting community. I'm your host, Don Jarling, and after one week of taking a break, we are officially back and happy to be back on the air. It's no secret that Funko has created several new lines this year, but perhaps one of the coolest and most innovative lines ever is the Marvel Blacklight line. Out of nowhere, Funko released Captain America Iron Man, Thor, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man, all exclusive to Target. Last week, Funko added another Marvel pop to the Blacklight line, Carnage. However, this isn't going to be the last Blacklight pop we will see. Hot Topic will be getting the first of probably many DC Blacklight pops, the first three which have already gone up for pre-order several times and sold out several times, will consist of Batman, Joker, and the Harley Quinn, all from Batman the Animated Series. It doesn't stop there though, as it's rumored we will be getting a Blacklight Deadpool, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Gambit, Magneto, and apparently a Jumbo Pop, whatever that is, consisting of Galactus and Silver Surfer. Are you excited for these upcoming Blacklight Pops? Or are these just another overproduced line that Funko milks until there's nothing left? Only time will tell, but for now, Better get your hands on at least a few of these, as prices are sure to only go up from here. But just in case you've already decided that you're not collecting the Blacklight line, don't worry, there are plenty of regular pops dropping and eagerly awaiting a spot on your coveted pop shelf. Yesterday, the Funko Shop dropped French-made Deadpool, unmasked Wolverine, and an 18-inch flocked Groot, limited to only 1,500 pieces. Believe it or not, this massive Groot did sell out in under a minute, which begs the question, how do 1,500 of you have room for this massive pop? Shout out to all the boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, significant others, and emotional support animals who put up with our collecting habits. You guys are the real MVP. And for those of you who are sick of your partner's pop collection, don't worry, there is in fact a pop for you. Make sure to pick up either a common or flocked grumpy cat. Based off the hit meme, this flustered cat has ironically brought joy to hundreds. It's safe to say that this pop will probably end up in a lot of secret Santa exchanges this year. And speaking of Santa, this holiday season is right around the corner and is the perfect opportunity to knock off some of those grails you've been wishing for. It might be a little early to start talking about Christmas, however, with the way prices are trending on the secondary market, it might be a good time to start doing some present hunting right now. If you're looking to get a Funko gift for somebody special, head on over to Amazon and grab a few of these holiday boxes complete with two pops, two Pez, four pins, and a great pair of fuzzy socks for only $29.99. Speaking of the holidays, we have lots to look forward to from the Star Wars universe, and I'm not just talking about The Mandalorian. The LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special movie trailer dropped this week and will be available for streaming on November 17th. That's not the only news we got this week for upcoming Star Wars content, as it has been leaked that a possible Boba Fett spinoff series is coming soon and will apparently start filming as early as next week. Get your Boba Fett pops now, people. After seeing him in Episode 1 of Mando, Every collectible with the infamous bounty hunter's face on it is surely to rise in price. Pops aren't the only thing you should look into collecting these days, as Adidas recently dropped an incredible Boba Fett high top pair of sneakers. If you are lucky enough to get a pair though, I would advise not wearing them unless it's to the kitchen to get more popcorn in between Mandalorian episodes. These sneakers might be worth a good chunk of change down the road. But if you're looking for some more Mandalorian merch today, no need to worry as this week we got our first look at the Mandalorian with Child on Bantha Pop Ride. As well as a vintage collection Mandalorian figure with Beskar armor. 
Without a doubt, there are lots more Mandalorian collectibles on the way, and we will keep you posted on every single one of them here on Funko Worldwide. Lastly, before we get into some more news, episode 2 of season 2 of The Mandalorian aired on Disney Plus last night, and even though it got some mixed reviews compared to episode 1, we did finally learn what this child pop was in reference to. Moving on to some non-Star Wars related content, there are lots of Marvel headlines swirling around, so let's take a minute and break them down. First off, Oscar Isaac is making his transition from the Star Wars universe to the Marvel Universe and has officially been cast as Moon Knight in the upcoming Disney Plus show. It's also being rumored that Jim Carrey is being eyed for as the voice of MODOK, the upcoming villain in Ant-Man 3. No word on if that's confirmed yet, but we will keep you posted. We have some good news for the Loki series and has already been renewed for a second season and we haven't even seen episode 1 yet. More good news dropped as Christian Bale, who is currently slated as the villain in Thor, Love and Thunder, has apparently been spotted in Australia where the movie is currently filming. As for Black Widow though, that movie has been delayed once again and unfortunately fans will not get to see this very anticipated movie until May 7th, 2021. However, Wonder Woman 1984 is still on track to release on Christmas Day in theaters, so we may still get some DC awesomeness here in 2020. And since we brought up DC, we have to talk about the fact that Jim Gaffigan, the comedian, has apparently been cast as Thunderbolt in the upcoming season two of Stargirl. Now that's something that I have to see. In other casting news, Aldous Hodge has joined the cast of Black Adam and will be playing Hawkman alongside Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Michael B. Jordan has officially signed on with Warner Brothers to produce the upcoming Static Shock movie, which I cannot wait for. Funko, listen to me and listen to me closely. You better make some dope Static Shock pops. While we wait for Static Shock pops, make sure you head on over to Pop in a Box to pre-order the brand new Red Hood pop. We got our first look at the live action Red Hood this week, and he will be debuting for the first time live action on Titans Season 3. That's not the only cool pop that we have to look forward to this month, as Pop in a Box will be dropping three more exclusives on each Friday, so keep your eyes peeled and your fingers ready for those drops. Another exciting DC pop that dropped recently came from none other than Big Apple Collectibles. It may take anywhere from 8 to 12 months to get this new Hellbat pop, but it sure does look very cool. Another cool piece that dropped this week are this incredible set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fig pins. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is once again new and one of the hottest crazes on the market, so don't sleep on these. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is not the only franchise currently being revamped as LEGO announced they will be dropping a brand new Ecto-1 Ghostbusters set on November 15th. This set will be 2,352 pieces and will retail for $199.99. In case either of those don't fit your collection and you're looking to drop a little more dough than usual, check out this brand new 6 scale Venom figure. Arguably the most deadly symbiote in the Marvel Universe, this figure is perfect for any diehard Venom fan. Go pre-order it now, as this will surely be a must-have, especially when Venom 2 drops. Before we get into today's weather, we have to announce our three stars of the week. Coming in at the number three star is Rye the Pop Guy, who recently hit 4,000 subscribers. Go check him out and his amazing content. For this week's number two star, we have Stop and Funko. You need to stop what you're doing right now and go subscribe to him because he just hit 1,000 subscribers. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least, huge Funko Worldwide congratulations to Last Ketchum, who currently is at 250 subscribers. With all the content she's been dropping recently, she'll surely catch them all. These three channels have been tearing up the YouTube scene lately, so take a break from ripping Pokemon packs and go give them your subscription. We couldn't end tonight's broadcast without checking in with everyone's favorite weather girl and the hardest working employee here on the Funko Worldwide staff, Fallon Frost. What's the weather looking like out there on this fine Saturday evening? 
Hey Don, today was a really warm November day. Global warming adds finest. Back to you, Don. Thanks, Fallon. I do agree. It's a little oddly warm for November, but hey, it's better than snow. If you're looking to check out a flea market or any kind of outdoor pop hunt, it's a great day for that. Anyway, you guys have been watching Funko Worldwide. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Don Jarling, signing off. Happy hunting, Funko fam.